to know what food feeds the mitochondria. It's a good, healthy protein and healthy fats. We need essential amino acids. We need essential fatty acids. And sugar and processed foods are killing our population. Over 80% of the population are not metabolically healthy. We are getting more and more obese, so many medical conditions. Now, I'm not saying everyone needs to do low carb and get rid of all the carbohydrates because I know they are so yummy. <laughs> and I am Chinese, I'm addicted to rice and noodles. That's the staple. But they are not helpful if you're trying to improve your metabolic health. In some population, if you're metabolically healthy, you're not sick, maybe you're running 10 kilometers and playing soccer and basketball. And I'm thinking about my teenagers. They can eat the carbs, but ideally not junk food. But a lot of us, in fact, 80% of, the, of us cannot eat so much carbs because our body can only hold four gram, which is one teaspoon of glucose at a time. More than one teaspoon of glucose, our body will make this insulin hormone, ship it away to become fat. So if you have more than one teaspoon, your body will be storing it as fat. Just for reference, a glass of Coke is about 10 teaspoon.